I don't know in what Europe, it looks like in Europe. There is uh, two ways of hip hop, like people that uh, are passive and uh, there are people that are active. You know, okay. they like back in the 90s, mm -hmm. uh, hip hop in Europe was like, you're not hip hop if you're not uh, in an element. You know, if you beatbox, okay, you even it's not like really official a part or of hip hop, uh -huh. but you're still hip hop, you know. Okay. But if you break or beatbox or MC or DJ or graffiti, you you part of hip hop. Okay. And then there is the other people they just friends and they hang out with and they dress hip hop, listen hip hop and whatever. But yeah. they're not active, you know. Okay. That's how it was. Okay, I guess it's kind of like that now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know. But more back in the day, it was like you gotta be super down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like B boy was your life, you know. Uh, you, you really, yeah. like you live that life. Yeah, 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 we 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 used to go like to Germany, you know, when uh -huh. we were like sixteen. I we told our parents that we're gonna go to a friend, we're gonna practice and then stay over there. But we went like five hundred uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> miles away, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we train and uh, we go to a different city to Germany, oh. go to a jam. Next day, practice and then come back. Yeah, you know? that's yeah, that's the b boy life yeah. for sure. It was a good time, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I like did the same thing when we went first time Battle of the Year. I think two thousand or two thousand one. We train. It was like five six hours away. We train, yeah. and then you go to the Battle of the Year, cipher everything and event everything, and then you go. The event is over after party is over. And mm -hmm. then you have to wait for the train, the first train that oh. starts going back home. Uh -huh. You see like a hundred of B-boys at the train station, oh, yeah. just cypher, practice, chilling. Some people sleeping in the corner, oh, some dang. people practicing, exchanging, you know. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. like B-boys from France, Germany, uh, Holland, Switzerland, Italy. You know, you connect, you know, exchange yeah. and practice. That's cool. And it wasn't back then, it wasn't like really a cypher and, or calling out somebody, but it was more of a circle. Somebody practiced something, you know, and you go there and exchange and, yeah. hey, do this like this or, hey, look, try like that or, look, I do something similar, you know. So was it like a pretty friendly scene in Europe um, is in terms of like, Cause, cause what I'm used to is like, I'd come from Sacramento, in you know we we just get all jump in a car mm -hmm. and we'd go to the other city to to do a jam or something, mm -hmm. and everybody calls us out because oh, it's like, hey, you're in our neighborhood and we would just get battled. So that's nice, man. <laughs> uh, it's like it was almost. I mean, it was definitely less friendly. Now it's a lot more friendly. I can come you know like me moving to la mm -hmm. if i had done that when i first started breaking i probably would have got battled for like a solid you know three or four months and people were like okay i think this guy's cool Crazy. you know um because dude the first time i think i went to a practice in sacramento like i was just in high school and like we just show up and they're like who are these two? it was me and my brother that we just show up and they're like who are these two yeah. kids and we like couldn't even do do anything really like my brother could do an invert and like i think i don't know what i, I could do like a head slide and freeze or something mm. and that's like our only moves like I, <laughs> we seriously were breaking for maybe like six months and it's oh, like the room is just like oh f these guys let's battle them. that's tough man and to so be honest battle you know and then i think you know after you battle a couple times then they realize okay you're not trying to cause harm or like because the thing was that Everyone was scared that you're gonna like bite their moves, steal their stuff, yeah, and so yeah. it was like, you know, they're automatically sort of hostile to you. Yeah. Um, but imagine you guys would have stopped dancing because of that, you know? Yeah, that it, would suck bad. It, would, man. it, it wouldn't. Be, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah, there was a lot of reasons to stop. I yeah. mean, for sure. But um, it. In but a, it's fun. It was just other way. It made you stronger, you know, to not give up and yeah. to stay on it, you know, yeah. and motivate you maybe, you know. I just yeah, it was just I had to learn what the scene was like you know what what was acceptable in the scene and um go with that you know like i think i remember i told this in another podcast but i remember we brought this um this shitty camera um because me and my brother used to we used to make a lot of home videos uh, mm -hmm. we used to make like skits we were really into um mad tv do you remember <laughs> mad tv it's like saturday night live sort okay, of okay okay um so we used to make all these stupid skits and stuff so we had 
our parents got us this um, like really crappy video camera so we can make all these stupid skits <laughs> just for fun. And then um, we brought it to go practice because we were just going to film ourselves and stuff. And then people were like, what are you doing with this camera? Yeah. Like, you know, like you can get beat up for like bringing a camera to practice Jeez, and stuff because, um, you know, because they automatically think you're filming these guys mm. to take their moves. To and learn stuff. the moves. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We learned real quick. Don't bring the camera there. Uh, so. We brought the camera. Like yeah, very early in our training, you know, to see what yeah. to do wrong because we were the youngest too, mm -hmm. and there were all the generation you might know Basel City Attack. Uh, that's yeah, the older yeah, generation. They yeah, battled yeah. Uh, Rock Force crew in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not Rock Force. Soul Control. Soul Control. Cujo and yeah, stuff. You know? Okay. And uh, they were the older generation, and we look up to them. And but we didn't got like help, you know. Uh -huh. So all we got this ourselves, you know, he was yeah. looking me and I was looking him and then we see the older generation and what what's the difference between him and you, you know, and yeah. uh, that's how we learn, you know, and then bring the camera and see what we do wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how we, we start. But we were the youngest and uh, yeah. our first battle was also about uh, six months into okay. breaking. Yeah, then yeah. first round we won against all the guys. Yeah, you know, I was like, man, we should keep going. You know, yeah, we, yeah. we're good. We're good. Yeah, that yeah. next round we battle younger guys than us, and uh, they smoke us so oh, bad. Yeah. You know, yeah, man. Dude, there's some good little kids. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then it's like, man, we need to practice. Yeah, it was a good wake up call. And then we, from then on, we started practicing every day. You know, yeah. Sundays eight hours. Yeah, our parents didn't believe that we we practice eight hours. They thought we doing something criminal, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah no, we would do kind of the same thing, and then yeah, the par your parents would be like, "What? The hell it's are unbelievable, you guys man! Doing? How can you practice eight hours?" <laughs> yeah, but it's just like you get totally immersed into yeah. that that world, and you just wanna you have a focus to get better. Yeah. I think eventually my parents realized we're not doing anything bad, yeah. like, and they saw us getting better at it. So it's like, oh, they're obviously like practicing this so um yeah like all right whatever yeah, and Good. we we also stole my parents camera you know because oh, yeah. we didn't have a camera and they used it only for a special when family came to visit you know yeah. and so yeah. we just took it and then practiced and then sometimes uh, they would see the tape you know we just buy new tape okay. put it in and then record yeah and yeah, then yeah, take yeah. the tape out and Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click like if you liked it or dislike if you thought it was whack. Either way, make some noise in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. And please subscribe if you're down with that broke boy and or broke girl shit. Thanks. Peace.